Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we've got a date with Jack Lupino. There he is. I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Lupino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin, the architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming! She is coming. You know, just in case you'd forgotten how hell crazy he follows is. with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now. And all who stand in her way must die. <laughs> die! <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All die! Fuck a dick, Lupino! Oh, shit! Ran out of bullets. Well, if you'd like to come in close, then... By all means! No. Oh, my organs. Let him have it. Fuck. Dance. And nothing. When Lupino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. <laughs> I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Part two, a cold day in hell. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. God damn it. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. Oh. Um, worth mentioning. I don't know where the plot of this game is going, and I don't know much about the plot of Max Payne 2, except that it had the marketing subtitle, A Film Noir Love Story. 
And, uh... The cover of the box is Max Payne embracing Mona Sachs, who I assumed would be introduced in that game. Like I was familiar with the name. There's none of the context. Really? No? Okay. A strange woman who was there and obviously knew something about the murder? No, you think I forgot that, did you? No, no, I do have slow time. I just don't have a meter. Oh, God. This is like the FOV that weirdos play Quake on. What? <laughs> I have maze dreams a lot, but they're not like this. Imagine yourself lost somewhere, and it just keeps going. Shopping mall, school... Even a public park, and you take turns, and you go through doors, and there's always more and more and more ahead of you, and you never find the exterior exit. <laughs> Those are my dreams. Confusion, not anxiety. I'm just really wandering. Okay, uh... Let's follow this right wall. If you follow the right wall in a maze, unless there are islands, you will find the exit eventually. I mean, fall a wall, I should say. Does oh, God! That looks bad. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> Why am I ten feet tall suddenly? So I guess Max and Mona have a thing down the road. But I guess in order to get there, he'll have to, uh, you know, uh, get over all of the crippling issues he's clearly struggling with since the death of his first wife. Should have known it when we found you snoring next to Lupino's corpse. A comedian, huh? The pictures were filled with good old times. Alex and Max. Alex and I had a few moments of glory between us. Crime-fighting comrades, the best in NYPD DEA collaborative team. Good-hearted macho bullshit like that. I would have given anything to have him here as my backup. No such luck. No luck at all. I wonder whose photos those are. I wouldn't be surprised if that's... Like an actual family photo from one of the devs, given, you know, the production style here. Can't turn on the TV here. No static for you guys. Michelle looked at me from the photo. The Payne family. Happiness captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever. Till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest. I do like the slow motion run, even though he's not actually moving in slow motion. I guess it's not a horror game. You know what? I'll allow that. Reflective mirrors are apparently harder to pull off than you'd think. Am 
Mind you, they had already been accomplished at this point. I know they had them in uh, Duke Nukem 3D in 1997. Huh. I've heard this precise version of uh, Rockabye Baby at some point. When the hell would I have heard this? It's itching at my brain. Let's just get out of here. I really love to watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. Oh, no, I am dead. I, was, I wasn't sure what would happen there. No, he's dead for reals. It's not like this... No, no, he woke up from the dream. The blood snow, incidentally, is also a nice touch. Oh, good. Separations. This maze does not connect. Fuck! Fully. Oh, God! No. Oh man, doing this in third person with this FOV is not ideal! Ugh. Shit. Oh god, oh god, no! Okay, let's just ignore that part this time and just keep going this way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, let's just keep going and not go down there. It'll be fine. No! Oh god, I must look like such a tool right now, but this really is harder than it looks. Oh, Max drifts when he steps to the side. He's got momentum, but only when he's moving left or right. Motherfucker. Aim for, those, aim for this bit. Yes! I thought there was more, you know, area to land right here. Than if I was aiming, say, at the, like, six-inch wide spot right here. I wonder what the baby's name was. I think for uh, maximum wholesomeness, you know, to make it all the worse, it would have been something like Max Jr. hell is this? No! Oh, this is embarrassing. No. Mind you, the actual full title of Max Payne 2 is Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne, so... Maybe the, uh, a film noir love story is not the thing you should be focusing on there, huh? Oh god, is that where I came in? Or is that where I'm going? No. The locational audio, incidentally, suggests that I am absolutely surrounded by crying babies. Very claustrophobic in here. This where I just came in? I think it is. 
It is not. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it, Max. Don't do this to yourself. No. No, no, please, God, no. I was expecting to tilt the camera up and discover that directly underneath, dead, it said, baby. Like, genuinely, I was pretty convinced of that. Rest in peace, baby pain. are ordered up this time. Slice them, dice them, shoot them full of holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back good as new. What? What? You hired Wolverine or something? Michelle's diary lay on the table. I mean, I guess under the circumstances, but what does that say? Nope. Nope, I walked into the door. My bad. I did not hit E on the thing. In my defense, look at this fucking place. Do you think you could memorize this? Pretty sure it's this way. Yeah, okay. No. No, no, please, God, no. It's interesting to me that his family was instantly avenged, but it didn't change anything. It didn't do anything. You know, look at... It's like... Batman. The dude who killed Joe, uh, Joe Chill, the dude who killed Batman's parents, is just some asshole. You know, he's not a supervillain, he doesn't, like, later on become a supervillain, he's just some shithead with a gun. You know, I think at one point they even, like, did a uh, comic where they, like, went into his background. You want Joe Chill's origin story? Fine! He was an asshole who was abused by his dad, so he grew up to be an asshole. He's very, very ordinary in every conceivable way, because he's just a dude. He's just a symptom. In that case, it was, you know, crime in Gotham City. In this case, it's Valkyr turning people into psychopaths. <sighs> Get back in there, champ, says my lozenge wrapper. The other alternative was he survived tougher and... I don't think that's true. I didn't notice the house painted there before. And just this once, I don't think it's true. Tougher than this? Are you insane? You can slice them, dice them, shoot them full of holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? 
I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy. That cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing. Just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. First days are like regrets, each one a scar dragging you closer to the grave. Yeah, I'd say that's 100% in keeping with Max Payne. The College of... It certainly can't say killing, can it? Hmm. But uh, the law, the law the, uh, the timer has gone. So before I walk through this door this time, oops, I'll uh, call it an episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Max Payne when we find out what hell Max is going to subject himself to next, and we wonder when uh, his subconscious became his worst enemy. Except I'm pretty sure I already know the answer. Ooh, boy, this is a heavy one. Later!